Welcome back to the channel guys. It's great to have you here. If this is your first time viewing the channel, please subscribe below if you'd like to see more financial news updates every single day. Let's jump right into it. So today the Dow is up almost 350 points as of right now. It got close to 400 points earlier in the day. Um, that's great news. Good news for the stock market going up. On not such a great note, consumer debt has reached an all-time high of $14.3 trillion. That is $68,000 per adult in the United States. It's absolutely nuts. And this is consumer debt, right? Products that do not appreciate in value. Cars, credit card debt, student loans. Oil prices are going up. Today in the United States has jumped 20%, which is a huge climb. Yesterday it went up 3%, and we've been five straight days with increases to the oil value, which is fantastic news. This is mainly due to states opening back up and the hopes of people traveling more and using more oil. Norwegian Cruise Line sees a real possibility of bankruptcy in the near future, although they did just receive, well, a sister company of theirs did just receive $400 million from a venture capital company. Um, the company's name is L. Catterton. The exchange for the $400 million was that L. Catterton is allowed to nominate one individual to that board, and so we'll see where that goes. But as we all know, the cruise lines are not doing well, and especially in this case, Norwegian Cruise Line is down huge today. Zillow is projecting that home prices will be affected by a decrease of around two to three percent in home values. I don't know what you guys think about Zillow. Let me know down in the comments. Here in Utah, they're so-so. They're oftentimes they're low on their prices and their estimates or their estimates, how they like to call them. But let me know what you guys think and comment down below. Anyway, guys, that's it for today for your financial news update. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you back again tomorrow for your next financial news update. Take care. Bye-bye.